Hello everyone. In this video, let's talk about zero of a polynomial. The value of a variable for which the value of polynomial is zero is called zero of polynomial. Let's take a polynomial. This is a polynomial x square minus 4x plus 3. Now, what happens if x is equal to 0? If x is equal to 0, so I'll write here value of variable. And here value of polynomial. So, if x is equal to 0, if I put 0 here, 0, 0 plus 3. So, value of polynomial is 3. Let's say x is equal to 1. Value of variable is 1. Then 1 square is 1. Minus 4 into 1 is minus 4. 1 minus 4 is minus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. Now if I put x is equal to 2. 2 square is 4. 4 minus 4 into 2 is 8. 4 minus 8 is minus 4. Minus 4 plus 3. Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. If x is equal to 3. 3 square is 9. Minus 4 into 3 is 12. 9 minus 12 is minus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So, if we watch here for value of variable x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 3. For these two values of the variable, value of polynomial is 0. In that case, we call 1 and 3 are zeros of this polynomial. Now, in this case, we replaced values of variable in the expression and we found what is the value of the polynomial. And thus we found zeros. But this is a linear method. So there is another method to find zero of a polynomial. To find zero of polynomial, what we do is we equate the polynomial to zero. So let's take example 2x minus 4 is a polynomial. To find the zero of this polynomial, what we do is we equate this to 0. So, we create a polynomial equation by equating the polynomial to 0. And we solve this. Now, minus 4 goes that side. So, 2x is equal to minus 4 goes that side becomes plus 4 is equal to 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. And now, x is equal to 2 goes that side. Here, it was multiplying. So, when it goes there, it will divide. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we now find directly the value of variable and this is actually the zero of the polynomial. So we can find the zero of the polynomial by equating the polynomial to zero and finding the value of the variable and that value of the variable is zero of that polynomial. This is also called a root of the polynomial or it is also called the solution of the polynomial equation. So, root, solution, zero, these are interchangeably used words for zero of the polynomial. Now, what about a non-zero constant polynomial? 12. This is a constant polynomial. And we know that actually this is 12 into x raised to zero. So, let me equate this to zero to find the zero. So that is 12 is equal to zero. Can 12 be equal to zero? No, that is not a mathematically correct statement. And therefore, a non-zero constant polynomial does not have a zero. So, it doesn't have any solution. It does not have any root. 
it doesn't have any zero of the polynomial and what about the zero polynomial if i for any value of x that this is going to be true because x in raised to zero is one one into zero zero is zero if x is two still it is true if x is three still it is true so it is true for every value of x and hence we say every real number is zero of zero polynomial Let's take one example of a linear polynomial. A linear polynomial, I can write it as ax plus b. Okay, so x is the power of x is one. So ax plus b is a linear polynomial. If I want to know the zero of this polynomial, I will equate this to zero. Solving this, b goes that side becomes minus b. A goes that side divides this. So x is equal to minus b upon a, and hence this is the zero of a linear polynomial. If we want to find a zero of a linear polynomial, it is always in the form minus b upon a, whereas where b is the constant term in the linear polynomial and a is the coefficient of x minus b upon a. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the YouTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.